Kathy Kinney. <laughs> Thank you. Come on close to mama, honey. <laughs> yes. Now, you, you can relate to all of this stuff, can't you? Oh, yes. My God. Now, everyone asks me, how long does it take me to get into drag? Now, I've got to ask you that question. It takes 45 minutes to have all of that blue applied. Uh -huh. And then probably another 15 to 20 minutes for the hair. Oh, my God. And, you know, it's, it's a lot of work getting into drag like that. I mean, do you ever think, get this stuff off of me? <laughs> Actually, I think a lot about the Klingons on Star Trek. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> no, I think I know what they feel like now. Right. Yeah. Oh, my God. Now, speaking of that, I mean, you, you've done a lot of different jobs. I mean, it's in Hollywood, here. Where, where are you from? I'm, I'm originally from Wisconsin. Oh, and, and like in Fargo. Do they talk like that in oh, Fargo? Oh, yeah. I'll have some cheese and some beer, please. <laughs> cheese and beer, yeah. Cheese and beer, oh, yeah, you know. <laughs> Actually, I grew up 15 miles from uh, Ed Gein, who's the man that Hitchcock based Psycho on. <gasps> You're kidding. No. So it's very, we're kind of proud of that. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, beer, cheese, and Ed Gein. <laughs> you know, so. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's sort of a, um, an area of the country that, well, it's sort of out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so a lot of uh, things that happen out there, because mm -hmm. people are really bored. Yeah. I mean, were you bored growing up? Did you do weird things just to bide the time? Oh, yeah. I played in the cemetery. Oh. Yeah, that, that was my favorite thing. And uh, That was before goth and everything, <laughs> right? Yes, yeah, it's, it's like grave hopping, you know, <laughs> and things like that. And uh, we used to like to, uh, to drive around. There was one window peeker in town. Oh, really? And we used to like to drive around and shine a flashlight on him. <laughs> so, you know, it was fun. Yeah. It was fun. Uh, it was a small town. It was very boring. Yeah. You know, so. yeah. Then you moved to New York, and I, they, they told me that you had all these wild jobs. Oh, they told please. me that you worked for an ex-Vogue model. Right. Who, when she, she was handicapped or something, right. and you worked for her. You're, you're not going to tell us who that was. No. I mean, no. You, you wouldn't know her. It was a long time ago. I wouldn't I, know her? No. Because I know everything, you know. I know. <laughs> No, I, I, I took care of her. I lived in with, I see, originally I wanted to be a nurse, mm -hmm. but I, I think that it's, uh, it's really lucky for everyone that I didn't pursue <laughs> that career because I'm terrible. And uh, I, I moved to New York. I had no skills. So I ended up doing lots of receptionist kind of things. I'm great on the phone. Uh -huh. And um, I worked at the American Psychiatric Association. You know, and uh, <laughs> I answered my phone that way for years. Even, you know, uh, in fact, I worked at WCBS-TV as a secretary. And sometimes just to terrorize people, I'd say, American Psychiatric Association. You know, and then they'd hang up. They'd be all afraid. And uh, I did that. No, I was on Dr. Ruth one time. What's the, now, now you, you mean her television show or radio yes, show? Yes, her television show I was a person with a problem <gasps> you're kidding well I was hired I didn't really have a problem <laughs> I you mean, were I was, hired to be I was sort hired of a as a person with a problem what was the problem you had I was a teacher mm -hmm. and I worked with a man who who um, was gay mm -hmm. and um, we would go to the ballet and out to eat and he was very good with children and we had had sex <laughs> and now he wanted to marry me but how did I know that he wasn't going to revert Oh, after we were married. Yeah. So that was my problem. I, I memorized my monologue, uh -huh. and, uh, and all they said, I didn't know Dr. Ruth. Uh -huh. I, I really didn't know who she was, and they said, well, she'll ask you some questions. And then they brought me out, and it was a live audience, and they sat me down. She was closer than you, uh -huh. and she said, so Weta? Because they always give you names that start with W because she can't say, you know, I mean, I mean, it was R, and she, she'd go, Weta? So Weta, they tell me you had a problem. Now, what is that problem? And I'm like, Oh, well, I'm in love with this man who's a teacher. And didn't you say that he was a homosexual? <laughs> and I go, yes. He's a, he's, he goes to the ballet with me, and sometimes he... Well, let me ask you this. Does he get an erection just by rubbing against you, or do you have to use your hands and... <laughs> and I'm like... <laughs> Live audience. Oh, my God. I'm sitting there. You can hear a pin drop. You know, I'm looking at her like, and then here's the thing, your vanity kicks in, right? Yeah, yeah. So I go, just by rubbing against me. <laughs> I love it. I know. Oh,
That is funny. <laughs> Quick $300 right really? there. 300 bucks? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That's amazing. <laughs> now, uh, now, did you meet Patti LaBelle backstage? I, I missed her by hair. I well, the, the funny thing about the three of us together is, of course, she's drag. You're yes, drag. Yes. I'm drag. Yes. This is a drag <gasps> extravaganza. Oh. And, of course, of course, we don't want to leave out Miss Massage. She's, of course, a oh. sex change. But uh, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, we're ready to bring out the diva. Yes. All right, here she is, Miss Patti LaBelle. Oh. drag like you have. No, well, today. you're doing quite good yourself, honey. Uh, I mean, you, look, you always look gorgeous. I started to wear something else, but I said, no, I'll be calm today. Well, you, I mean, you are, <laughs> you, you are a fashion. I mean, from the first time we saw the group, LaBelle, they're wearing all those wild outfits. Oh, now, yeah. where'd you get your sense of, of style? From your mommy or your daddy? Both. Really? Yeah, Were my they mother, stylish? My mother was very stylish, and my father was very, he, he changed three times a day. He was you're so kidding. clean. My father was, and took three showers a day. Not only was he clean, he was clean. My he was God. fierce. <laughs> yes. But I took, took it from both of them, and uh, then I went on to find designers like Larry Legaspi, and then yes. we started working out our ideas with Larry and mm -hmm. some other wonderful designers. And, I mean, like you said, I, I wear a lot of drag. Now, now what, what, what do you do with all your old clothes? People ask me that oh, all the time. Well, I, I donate them, you know, to certain oh. charities, and um, I wear a lot of them. I mean, I bring stuff out that's 10 years old, and uh -huh. especially when we go to cities that I've never played before. Yeah. I said, well, they've never seen this, so I, I can wear it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you look around, you're getting clothes made. I said, yeah. I can recycle this girl. Oh, yes, baby. Oh, this yes. dress, I've never worn this dress before. This Honey, is beautiful. I, I gotta wear this again, baby. Oh, this yes. is gonna be the only place. No, you have to wear it again at least 50 more times. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't like to be caught in the same I thing. I know. You know how that is? I know. Because every time we do a TV show, I said to my husband, I got to get something. He said, well, wear that dress you wore last month. Uh -oh. I said, that's a no-no. Uh -uh. uh -uh. I don't go out like that. So if you catch me in drag twice, call the fashion police. Uh -oh. Okay? Uh -oh. Wait a minute now. I'm serious. You tell them. Tell yeah. Really? Because I don't like that. <laughs> I don't. Now, I know, I know Patty is a big, you watch a lot of TV. I don't, you watch late night TV. Do you get to watch the primetime stuff like the Drew Carey show? Oh, yes. And yeah. I love it. So I love the makeup that you wear. <laughs> Of course show. you do. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, I do watch. Hmm? Really? I watch their show. Yes, now, I you've do. seen this show, haven't you? Oh, yes, and I saw it last night. It was real cute. Uh -huh. That little singing girl from Australia. Oh, right, Robin. Sweden. Robin yeah. was on. She was real yes. sweet. And I saw it when you had Cindy Lauper on, my good yes. friend Cindy. Yes, she's lovely, yeah. yeah. Now, and uh, I, watch, I watch you all the time. We have all, all, all kinds of great musicians on the show. You've got a brand new album. It's called Flame. And why is it called Flame? Because you are the hottest thing in the no. earth, honey. <laughs> Me, Patty. They said you are such a such a queen. They said they said I'm a queen. I said, well, I'm a flaming queen on this album. <laughs> this album is called Flame, but it's it's flame because it, it's kind of hot. It's really hot. In fact, it's uh, it's more contemporary than other. It's, it seems like you went in for a younger crowd on this. Is that? No, it wasn't intentional. No. Uh, it was like when I did the song with Big Daddy Kane. Feels like another one. Yes. About five years ago, or whenever yeah. that was. It was just that I wanted to sing that song and I wanted to do it with him. Like yeah. I don't go out to, I don't try to do anything, I just do whatever feels good. Yeah. So the stuff on this CD just felt really good. I wasn't like trying to get it it's any audience. It's a great CD. In fact, Thank when you. we come back, guys, Patty is gonna sing a song for us. So y'all stay right where you are, all right? Yeah. 